Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Balin of Catonsville Dental Care. Welcome to another episode of Sweet and Savory Tooth Tips. Today, on a snowy Sunday afternoon, I'm excited to take you to the Southern Hemisphere. We are gonna visit the country of Peru. Uh, my family went on an amazing journey there about 13 months ago, last December, and it was incredible. It's incredible culturally, it is incredible spiritually, and it is incredible gastronomically. I'm gonna share with you two different dishes that we had multiple times while we were there, and then maybe you'll get a little bit, uh, some photos of some of the uh, more exciting things that we did on our trip. The first dish that we are gonna talk about today is something called ceviche. It is an uncooked fish that is only cooked without any heat, but with the acid from lemons and limes, and we decided to add a little orange today. So, the first thing we're gonna do is take some raw, sh raw shrimp here and just add in some juice of lemon, lime, and orange. And we're gonna put that in the refrigerator and let it sit for about a half an hour while the acid starts to cook the shrimp. All right, so we are going to make something called a causa rellena, which is a filled terrine that is going to have potatoes and a chicken salad. So uh, while I make this chicken salad, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about our trip and uh, we'll make some chicken salad at the same time. The chicken was cooked uh, in the Dutch oven here um, with some chicken broth and now we're just gonna add some mayonnaise to it two giant heaping teaspoons, some celery, great, a little bit of cilantro, and this is a salt that we got in Peru. It is sal de maras con herbas aromáticas. So that is an aromatic salt from Maras, which is a, the salt mines of Peru very cool spot. So when we went to Peru, one of the first things we did was go to the Amazon. The Amazon covers 3% of the world's surface. It is 50% of all of the rainforest of the world, um, but has about half of the world's species of flora and fauna. It has one out of every five bird in the world and uh, incredible kinds of fish. So just like that, we've got our chicken salad, which I think looks very good. Then we're gonna plate it. And what we're going to do as we plate this is uh, we have uh, a little plastic ring. And earlier I made a potato dish that is basically mashed potatoes with uh, some yellow pepper that I pureed and added it to it to give it this really nice, pretty yellow color. Potatoes are one of the signature foods of Peru, and they actually have 3,000 species of potatoes. So it's integral into their diet. There's a lot of different climates and microclimates within uh, the country of Peru. There's actually 90 of them, and there's about 20,000 feet disparity between, between sea level and the highest peaks. So all kinds of different biodiversity allows for lots of different species. So. Um, we have just some Yukon gold, and what I'm gonna do is put this right inside and just sort of mash it in. And this is typically an appetizer that would be served cold, but it's got a really nice, unique blend of flavors. I boiled and peeled the Yukon gold potatoes and then uh, just mashed it up with the peppers. Um, added a little bit of seasoning, but not much. Then we're gonna add our chicken salad to it. A nice layer of that. Uh, some of the birds that we got to see were incredible. We saw uh, oropendolos. We saw toucans, we saw all kinds of macaws, and uh, hummingbirds, finches, truly, truly incredible. We did not see the world's largest bird, which is the Andean condor, but we did get to see a variable hawk, which was incredible. 
Um, we also got to visit a very cool place called Lake Titicaca, which is actually the world's highest lake. And on that lake, they have reed islands, and it's called Los Uros, U-R-O-S. And the indigenous people of that Los Uros uh, were very hospitable to us and took us around. Looks like I have a friend here. His name is Bachi. He might be joining us in this uh, exploration to Peru. Hello, Bachi. This food is not for you. So, all right, let's see if we can wiggle this off here, pull all this little plastic piece off, and we're left with a very pretty terrine. Okay, we're gonna top it with some avocado. Beautiful. And we also are gonna put a little hard boiled egg on the top, which gives it another little layer of complexity. And we're gonna put a couple of olives. And then put a little lettuce on the side for a little bit of garnish. And I think that is a lovely, easy, healthy dish. Enjoy. Causa Riena. All right, let's move back to our shrimp ceviche. So our shrimp was sitting in the refrigerator in its citrus bath for the last half hour. It's about halfway cooked, and we're just going to transfer it into a different container here. And while I'm doing that, I'll tell you about a couple other neat things that we did in Peru. One of the things that Peru is most famous for is the Sacred Valley area and Machu Picchu. And a lot of people go to Cusco and Sacred Valley and then they hike to Machu Picchu on the Incan Trail. We did not do that, but one of the coolest things that we did was after a one day of Machu Picchu, we hiked Montana de Machu Picchu. And that was one, Machu Picchu is 10,000 feet up, and then we hiked another 2,100 feet up in a very arduous um, situation where um, Brooke was already not feeling well from the altitude sickness, but she persevered, made it through it, and it was an incredible uh, journey that was, we were well rewarded with the views. They were simply spectacular. Okay, so we've got all of our shrimp out of there. We're then gonna add to that some mango, some tomato, some cilantro, perfect. Then a little bit of red onion. I don't like too much of it. That should be plenty. Then we're gonna heat it up a little bit with some jalapenos that are chopped up. And Machu Picchu is one of the coolest places if you ever get to go, it's truly spectacular. So that looks beautiful. And then we're just gonna add our liquid back to it, the reserved liquid, and it's gonna go back into the refrigerator for another half an hour. All right, we're back. Shrimp ceviche is out of the refrigerator and it's been chilling there for about a half an hour. So. I'm going to plate this. I'm going to add a couple other things to it. While I do, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, some of the other things that we learned in Peru. Um, it is an amazing place of not just culture. The people are truly amazing people. So nice, so caring. Um, we had wonderful interactions with people all around the country. And We'd, we were on boat rides and bus rides and train rides and um, in rainforests and in cities and no matter where we went, we had the greatest interactions with the people. So um, it was really awesome from that standpoint. I'm going to add a little avocado to this too. Just blend the dish together a little bit. 
Um, the people of Peru are truly special individuals and we really enjoyed our time down there. The person that we spent the most amount of time with was Manuel, who was our guide. And he was just a great person. He had a, an amazing spirit about him that um, we just connected with him instantaneously. And uh, he'll always be a special person when, uh, whenever we think of Peru, we will always think of Manuel. So uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that Peru is not just a place that we visited. It's a part of our DNA. And I highly recommend everyone that can try to check it out. So here's our final dish here. This is, we got a, some plantain chips around there. We've got some corn chips on there. Okay, I'm just gonna finish it with a little bit of salt. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take a little bite just so you guys get to hear the flavors come through. Little avocado in there. Let's get a nice bite with some shrimp and some onion and tomato. Mmm. It's good. Nice little acidity in it, some good crunch. Great flavor, little sweetness from the mango. Mmm. Delicious. Thank you to the Bergermans for my new jacket. I absolutely love it. And uh, make sure you uh, like and subscribe down below. Check out the other content that I've done. Jonah, if you're watching, uh, thanks for watching all my videos. Love you, buddy. See you guys soon. Have a great time and explore the world. Take care. Bye.